Warning, if you are against the consumptive use and the ethical harvest of fur-bearing animals, please leave this channel now. This is no place for pansies, sissies, or crybabies. Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. Uh, guys, what I want to show you today is another variation another of, of a trench style set. Uh, maybe you live in rocky country where you can't dig way down deep. You can't get a dirt hole in, so to say. Uh, this is going. This set is going to work for you. It's going to be a fur producer. Uh, it's really quick. It's really fast to put in. It doesn't take much time at all. So with that being said, let's flip things around here and let's get started with it. All right, gang. All I have done, you can see there, is I cut my trench. And it's not very deep, it's maybe a couple of inches and it's just straight back in there. Um, left the sides of it rough, so it's uncomfortable for him to stand here. And then I just laid, I didn't dig a dirt hole, I just dug a trench. Try to lift that up and show y'all. It's just a trench back in there is all that is. And then I just laid that rock over top of it. The trap bed is right here. We're back on that 12 to 14, 16 inches back with our trap bed right there. And all you're doing is giving the appearance that there's a hole here and your bait and lure would go back in the back of it like this. Now use something big like and heavy that they can't just roll around and move on you. Uh, could be a big chunk of wood, could be a rock, could be, you know, basically anything. You're only limited by your imagination. That right there, and then if you really want to make that stand out, you would cover, actually, go dig some dirt somewhere and mound it up over top of that rock and really give it a, a lot of eye appeal and a big showy set that will sure enough stand out there and grab his attention. Uh, I know this is kind of a quick deal, guys. That that's just that's basically all there is to it. There isn't too much to it. All right, gang. So I went ahead and I went and got some dirt and covered that up. And you can see now that that really shines. That really stands out to them. They're not going to pass by it. So if you live in a, in, in, in a rocky country where you can't dig a traditional style dirt hole, you can't dig a very deep trench, all you have to do is just kind of scratch it good, lay a rock or something over it. If you wanted to, cover it up with dirt. It's not necessary. It's not a requirement. It doesn't have to be done. But it gives the appearance that there's a hole going back underneath there. Your bait and lure goes back in the back. The trap is right out here in front. Guys, it can't get any more easier or simpler than that. That's just another variation of a trench style set that will sure enough take a bunch of fur for you. All right, guys, I know that was kind of a quick little demo video there. It wasn't much, but there was a lot of information there if you choose to use it. Um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to watch, but before we go, I want to let everybody know that I will be out of town this week. So if you're needing bait or lure or anything, Please contact Cumberland's uh, Northwest Trapper Supply up there in Owatonna, Minnesota. They carry a portion of my line of baits and lures. You can order something from them if you if you need to. Um, also, I'm well. well I'm headed off down to Alabama to give a guy uh, personal instructions on his line. He wanted me to travel down there to get his to be on his line. So. And I do, I do that occasionally. I don't do it all the time, but I do do it occasionally. I also want to make mention and let everybody remember that we are putting on a school uh, trapping clinic here uh, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Uh, cost is $1,000, a $250 deposit, non-refundable up front. Um, we've got room for maybe one or two more students, and then we're going to be full. I'm going to put you up. I'm going to feed you show you you know two and a half days of instruction all for the cost of a thousand dollars we're going to be doing another one the third weekend in september and i can't tell you what the dates are right off the top of my head but i will get that posted up for you any y'all that can't make it to this one in may possibility we can get you squeezed into the one in, in september so guys I want to thank every one of you for tuning in to watch. I do appreciate it. If you would, please just hit that thumbs up for me. That's all I'm asking. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.